I'm Evan Hepler-Smith. Uh, I'm uh, from, originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, and I'm in the program in History of Science at Princeton. I'm in my fifth year. I study the naming of chemical substances. Uh, nomenclature is something that um, every chemist has to study still. For a long time, chemists had to study quite a bit uh, about nomenclature. They spent a lot of time memorizing rules of nomenclature, rules for naming, uh, creating polysyllabic, long, sprawling names. I study where that collection of rules came from. At the very end of my undergraduate career, I uh, took a course in the, the sociology of science. Uh, and that, a light bulb clicked on, and I realized that the same sorts of methods I was learning um, to study how literary texts were put together, um, from the sentence level um, all the way up to the level of how narratives are constructed, could be used to study something like uh, science, how scientific knowledge is made. When I first met Evan, which was before he actually applied to graduate school, as he was looking at various programs, within five minutes of talking to him, it was clear that he had the knowledge of organic chemistry that was well beyond what an ordinary undergraduate who majored in it would have. And it's largely self-taught. It's a characteristic of Evan that he is able to pick up enormous amounts of information by uh, sheer application and willpower and uh, a set of native gifts that you will already be able to see in other contexts. During the period that I study, from the 1880s to 1940 or so, nomenclature wasn't tedious. And that's What's interesting about this particular period, that's why I chose these beginning and end dates. This was a period of about 40 or 50 years in which chemists um, from the most kind of senior, august scholars in Europe to chemists teaching in high schools felt that nomenclature um, was something that was both very important, worth thinking about, and up for grabs. But I think that attending to historical examples in which um, something goes from being an object of public debate to the technical, boring business of specialists is a really important place to look uh, because the politics attendant on that transformation uh, determine what is in and out of bounds of debate um, for the public, for scientists, um, for uh, people who might potentially have an interest in rules that are being made about how information is organized and shared at many different levels.